Good. Anyway, this will be a very strange lecture today. Uh, I hope, anyway, you will be able to follow the rhythm. Oh, okay, newcomers. It's good. Uh, uh, the first uh, uh, protocol I close the door. The first uh, step of our uh, protocol uh, is a presentation. Uh, in the last week I spoke about, uh, uh, about me, uh, I, am, I study history and geography and therefore I specialized uh, to the topic between these disciplines. Moreover, uh, when I finished my university studies, this was the great age of ecology. Because ecology when founded in the 19th century, it was a sub-discipline of biology, but later became a global thinking which influenced the political life. Look at, for example, some party founded, uh, influenced uh, NGOs like Greenpeace and influenced each of these uh, since, the, uh, since the Since the 70s uh, started, for example, environmental, environmental, uh, environmental history, uh, environmental sociology, environmental uh, economics and so on and so on. Therefore, influenced a global thinking. And my course focused to the historical connection between physical environment and society. Uh, the first step, I defined the basic concept, the backgrounds of formation of environmental history, and later, I, the methodology, of course, because this is a rationally proper. And later, I will analyze in case studies how interact a physical environment and society. Okay, it's me. And uh, I would like to ask your name. I try to memorize, but not so easy. Uh, and secondly, but uh, this is the same situation in the case of Hungarian language, and no people who able to pronounce well Hungarian names. <laughs> it's very complicated because a Hungarian language is uh, different any other, but not so uh, so special like a Basque. You know, a Basque language. It's uh, located to the northern part of Spain. No any relatives. Nobody knows. It's a small community. Nobody knows which is the origin. And very interesting, it's a minorities would like to demonstrate uh, his integration in the sport, for example, in football. Somebody interested except me to the football? No? No? Uh, a little bit. Uh, and uh, one of the most, the best uh, championship is the is the Spanish championship and the football team of, uh, of Basque minority is Atletico Bilbao. Atletico Bilbao. And there is a protocol in the Atletico Bilbao. In the Atletico Bilbao may play Basque player or player from any other place of the uh, of the world, except Spanish, Spanish never. <laughs> this is a nationalism somehow. But very interesting, it's the last uh, uh, example from, uh, from playground of football. Look at, for example, Hungarian championship. Very interesting, because, sorry, because uh, two football club uh, won the most uh, first place, first position in the championship. Uh, Ferenc Varos, it's a German based because this is one district of Budapest, capital of Hungary, and some uh, decades ago, for example, between two World War, it's a bilingual district, German and Hungarian, because it's founded by German uh, citizens. And other one, MTK, Hungarian Athletics Club, it's founded by Jews. And very interesting, in the Hungarian championship influence two ambitious minorities, German and Jews. Okay, but your name and uh, your background and uh, why you selected this course. Uh, so my name is Marina. Good. Um, I come from... Be communicated via... Uh, you send me a course based message. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I answer. Um, I come from Belgium. I study in uh, Marussus. Uh, humanity and um, I come here because I would like to improve my English and yeah that's why I'm a student Erasmus and 
it's enough. Yeah. And why you select a good date, scheduled? Why, why selected this course? This course are uh, because in Belgium I have to uh, uh, to take the courses I have also in Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Belgium I have these courses and that's why I. Okay, okay. So uh, in the former two lectures you can see on the YouTube channel, uh, I try to somehow define the background, the environmental thinking. The first one, it's a Judeo Christian heritage and a Greek philosophical tradition. This is the background, not only the European civilization, but each of these disciplines almost. And this was the first one. And the second one, how influenced the formation of disciplines uh, on the time of 19th and early 20th century, the environmental thinking. And the first one uh, was an uh, early environmentalist, the second one, geographer, and uh, we started the, and the Amas and the historian, and uh, this is the last circle, at the other side of the screen, uh, 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 ecologist. And the first important uh, uh, ancestor of the ecology was Alexander Humboldt, named after the University of Berlin. And he traveled a lot of places, Africa, uh, uh, southern part of uh, America, and tried to describe systematic manner a uh, uh, interaction between physical environment and inter interdependence of the plants and physical environment. Recently, this is a material of elementary school, but on his time, this was the uh, frontier zone of the science. It's very interesting because the, the, the information is falling down somehow. Um, good. Uh, and the second uh, important uh, uh, representative of ecology, uh, uh, Charles Darwin. It's a very interesting person. In the, this was the last slide in the other side of the screen. Uh, who uh, graduated first in Edinburgh, uh, natural sciences, because even recently in the, uh, the Anglo-Saxon uh, uh, education, it's a quite a typical uh, uh, different structure of the sciences. Because if we are looking at uh, modern boundaries of sciences, it's, uh, for example, in Hungary, it's follow the German system. But, for example, in the case of France, uh, you are a French speaker? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Je parle un peu et ah, je comprends. Ah, c'est bien ça. <laughs> pas communiqué euh, tellement bien. Okay, but uh, in looking, for example, the French system, in the French education, a geography and the history, the same science until the end of secondary school. And the teacher decide uh, before the, before the uh, lecture which dimension of uh, history and the geography will fall. And in the Anglo-Saxon, American and English education system, until the end of elementary school, use the, uh, take to the same frame as sciences. No, phys no physics, no, uh, for example, uh, chemistry, uh, not chemistry, uh, what the name is that? It's a no, no chemical sciences. Maybe. Uh, it's it's uh, close to the same frame of natural science. Therefore, the div division division uh, of uh, uh, different disciplines and different group of knowledges it's changeable. And not by chance, the most inno uh, most innovative area field of research are interdisciplinary area, like for example environmental history. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, Charles Darwin graduated as natural scientist in Edinburgh. But very interesting, this was the last information in the last week. He graduated as theologist, theologian in uh, Cambridge University. I remember. I see my slide series. Yeah, in Cambridge. Okay, look at that next slide. Sorry. The next slide, this is the voyage of Vigo, uh, a very famous uh, uh, ship, uh, traveled around the world and discovered the first, uh, uh, first uh, innovation for the uh, theory of evolution. Okay, the next one, the next uh, person who founded a uh, uh, real founder 
of uh, ecology as hacker. Uh, it's a journal. Very interesting, not majority, but unfortunately, uh, uh, probably uh, approximately a 40%, almost the half of key innovation of the 19th century produced German scholars. It was a great century of, uh, of German scholars. Ernst Haeckel founded uh, Ecology, and uh, this is a uh, mixture of two words. The first, Oikos, it's a uh, Oikos uh, means uh, uh, habitation, and, and uh, the second one, uh, Logos, a uh, logic, uh, science. This was the ecology in the first approach was the science of habitation. Science of habitation of animals and science of habitation of plants. And very interesting uh, definition of ecology by Ernst Haeckel. Uh, Ernst Haeckel it's, uh, defined uh, ecology, I read, not so easy because uh, uh, somehow uh, using a PPT it's very comfortable because each information there is on the screen except if don't function this system. Good. Uh, as Hacker defined uh, ecology, by ecology mean the body of knowledge concerning the economy of nature, uh, the investigation of the total relation of the animal but in organic and organic environment. It's very important, very important because in the ecosystem, because the key, the key concept of ecology is uh, ecosystem. It's contain a uh, biosphere and the physical environment too. It's a biotope and uh, uh, how the name? Sorry, <laughs> not biotope. Biotope and uh, and uh, biosphere. A biosphere and the biotope. Biosphere. This is the uh, living materials, living beings, and the biotope, a physical environment. Not so easy jumping. Such manner. A very important person uh, in the history of ecology, Edward Suess, Australian uh, geolo geologist, he described the first time the concept of biosphere. And very interesting, uh, Carl Möbius. Uh, uh, you know the Möbius stripe? Möbius stripe, no? A Möbius stripe, two Möbius there is in the science a mathematician and a biologist. And very interesting because I lived together four years in mathematicians. <laughs> Therefore, a lot of information picked from the mathematics. And the Möbius line, one geometrical surface, there is only one surface. It's not possible I'm able to take, but I try. Sorry. Moving slide. No. You know? You know? Okay. No. Next time I will see. You can you can form it. You can form it. It's not so easy. If you take your finger without it's moving up, able to cover the surface. Please. Yeah, yeah, this is this one. This one. This is the Möbius line. Very easy to make one geometrical surface, which is only one surface. Follow? Came back to the same. Okay. Yeah, this is the Möbius line. You can demonstrate. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 10% of my salary I will send for you. Uh, after, after, the, after today's lecture, uh, we, uh, we change the account of, uh, of uh, bank. Okay, turn back. This one surface. But uh, we are speaking not about a uh, mathematician, but the biologist. Uh, and very interesting, the, the biography of uh, Karl Möbius, because he graduated at the Göttingen University, University of Göttingen, it's northern part of, of Germany. And he didn't receive job. 
Unfortunately, if somebody graduated, it's a, it's a real danger. And good uh, example, if somebody creative able to find the possibility, the chance of innovation, even the worst job. You know the oyster? Oyster, this is the small animal on the sea. And he received a job to oyster farm. farm. It's a very boring place. Only manipulate the temperature of water, the oyster not able to move one place to other, and uh, the content of feeding materials. But he started a typical scientific project. Analyze how to develop the oyster in different conditions. Therefore, founded the community ecology. In the case of oyster, it's very, very simple because oysters don't want to move one place to other. But the same technology you can use for animals, for humans, everybody. Change the physical condition and follow the reaction of the community. This is the uh, great innovation of Carl Lewis. Okay. Uh, and the first key concept, who defined the first key concept of the system is uh, Arthur G. Tensley. Arthur G. Tensley uh, defined the concept of the ecosystem. Biosphere and biotope. Look at the first definition. The first definition, the whole system, including not only organic complex, but also the whole complex of physical factors forming what we call environment. Good. But look at one other approach. One other approach uh, published of definition of ecosystem, which generally accepted uh, by biologists and by uh, other experts of, uh, of uh, environmental science, published an uh, American ecologist. His name, Eugene Paul Adam. Look at his definition. Uh, any unit that includes all of the organic, for example, accepted the point of view. No hierarchy in the ecosystem. Look at the geography. In the case of geography, form a strict hierarchy. There is a, for example, a small region, middle region, and macro region. Like a, a Matyosha doll, you know, it's a Russian Matyosha doll. There is a, a small, middle, and take into one to other. In the case of geography, used uh, over covering each of the region, small, middle, macro. In the case of ecosystem, no hierarchy. Maybe one ecosystem, one puddle on the pavement, you know which is the puddle. It's a water core on the pavement, and maybe whole of the universe. No hierarchy, no taking one to other. Give an area. Each of the ecosystem analyzed as a unit. Okay, first, continue. Interacting, interacting with the physical environment, so the flow of energy. It's very important. A great advantage of environmental history and generally the ecological thinking, look the human history, not only the deeds of king and generals and the politician, but for example, from the point of view of in, uh, history of energy. Why so important? Because we can able to understand more deeply the flow of history. Look at the energy. Probably you know from the secondary school the first law of energy. On the universe, no energy consumption and no energy production. The quantity of energy on the universe steady, the same. Only we can speak about energy conversion, different form of energy conversion. 
If we are looking at the human history, 99% of energy we receive from the sun. It, in the sun, there is a nuclear fusion, hydrogen to helium fusion. Uh, if we are looking at human history, 99% come from the hydrogen helium nuclear fusion. One person come from volcanic eruption. But it's it's very moderate. 99 person. It's a sunbeam right to the cover to the surface of Earth. After the long evolution of uh, how the name is uh, photosynthesis, a photosynthesis appeared three million years Million, million, billion, it's an American English and a British English, million years ago. Very important, it's a peculiarity only, the first form of life didn't base to photosynthesis and didn't base to oxygen. Somebody know which material formed the first beings, the first living material, not the oxygen based. And then not the suffer, suffer. The first form of life, suffer based life. When appeared the oxygen and the photosynthesis, destroyed almost whole of the early form of the life. Okay, now look at the photosynthesis. It's developed form of the, of the photosynthesis with the plants. Very low rate of efficiency. Only one person of solar energy, the plants able to convert to chemical energy, nuclear energy, and the chemical energy to the body of the plants. And the uh, chain of consumption based to plants. And there are three forms of consumption, are uh, herbivores, omnivores, and carnivores, three forms. And for example, if we are, go, we are going to the restaurant, we transform the chemical energy to moving energy and heating energy. Look at the rate. Three forms, carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores. Look at us. We are which? <laughs> but vegetarian, it's uh, every worse. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's very interesting. Very interesting. I received salary. Uh, I received fellowship in the 90s because I was born in the last century. And uh, when the political system of Hungary changed, uh, I received a, sal a fellowship to Switzerland, France, uh, uh, Germany, Netherlands, and Czech Republic. It's a, Quite good because uh, uh, science function like, for example, a monastery. A monastery we can replace the university. Function according to same system and the basic uh, principles are the same. If I move to the Paris to uh, Bruno, Brun, uh, Munich, basically the university and the academic life is the same. Like I, similar, like a monk. Lifestyle is uh, similar because if somebody working on the project, no other uh, option, only 10 or 12 or 15 hours working continuously, it's a very moderate place. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, very important, uh, one of my first uh, boss told to me for the, uh, for, the, for, the, for the research necessary bad characteristics. One of the most important is selfishness. Selfishness is a bad uh, uh, attitude uh, to the first uh, approach, but uh, other side of selfishness, a concentration. Without selfishness, no concentration. And uh, okay, uh, we are on divorce. Yeah, uh, the story. Uh, when I received a salary, uh, fellowship to Bern University, capital of Switzerland, uh, and I lead a student hostel, my first surprise when I arrived to the Switzerland. 
Uh, we discuss uh, with the manager of student hostel about uh, my uh, logic. And necessary half hours when I understood in Swiss student hostel, no option, one student live together with other. Everybody living alone. In Hungary, <laughs> the worst place I, was, I live together with 25, 25 students. And uh, I told to the manager, I am able to live together, everybody. Nobody disturb me. I am able to uh, live in uh, open window without heating, no problem. It's a survival technology, almost perfect. And my first impression that uh, feminism I realized first time in the 90s in Switzerland. In the women, the, 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 at the, on, the, on the end of the corridor, had two toilets. But it was a, a theoretical separation because only two type toilets. Therefore, if somebody hurry, used a man for women and another one. And very interesting, the men toilet wall, it's clean. And in the women, a lot of graffitis. And uh, this is one consequence of feminism. And uh, two, I remember two good graffiti uh, reflect to the uh, separation of carnivores and omnivores. It's a uh, save plants, kill vegetarians. <laughs> and other, right, other, other, other graffiti, which is the name of women who know the place of his husband every time. Widow. You know the widow? Widow is uh, his husband died. There is in the cemetery. <laughs> every time. It's good location. A good term. Only was. But very important in the energy history uh, uh, influence of energy history to the human history, the rate of conversion. Look at a human omnivores, a human able to convert a chemical energy like me and you walking in the restaurant, ate a chemical energy like a meals, and convert in our body to moving and heating energy. The human rate is 18% 18% of chemical energy we are able on our body convert to moving energy working power but look at the domesticated animals like horse, camel and the cattle it's a cat is a border case because it's possible the cat domesticated the human its point of view is different but very interesting the cat, the animal, a domesticated animal, he didn't change so much on the history of domestication. Look at, for example, the dogs. Uh, it, I was very surprised in one ecological guidebook uh, when I read no species of God. No unique species of God, uh, the, the dog, sorry, too late, uh, dog, but a dog, a sub-species of wolf. Look at, for example, a wolf and a chihuahua. Close relatives. <laughs> because on the long history of breeding, changed very deeply. In the cat, no. So only four different Persian and uh, Nubians is a classical version and uh, Persian and uh, which Siam, Siamese is the third one. Okay. But turn back, a human, 18 person. Look at the domesticated animals, are herbivores. Therefore, the rate of conversion much lower. Only domesticated animals, 10 person. 10 person only. And very interesting, if we are looking the history of energy before industrial revolution, because after the industrial revolution, the relation to the energy changed basically. Why? Because uh, via fossil fuels, 
act, uh, activated so huge quantity of energy, it's only comparable with geological power, volcanoes, earthquakes, or cyclone on the atmosphere. But before, dominated the human power and the domesticated animals. Before industrial revolution, 70% 70 70 of energy came from somatical energy. Somatical, you know, it's a body's energy of human, somatical energy. Therefore, named it a somatical energy system. And only 30%, a minority, came from drought power of domesticated animals and a simple, a simple machinery like a windmill and water mill. And this proportion, a basic reason, long survival of slavery. Which area had a slavery? A low populated area, like America and like Russia. Uh, somebody speak Russian? I'm not so much, but uh, when I was a student, it's uh, mandatory learning uh, uh, Russian, therefore some words uh, and visited sometimes in Russia. For example, all of the area which uh, organized recently the war between Ukraine, I, I knew quite well. And uh, in Russia, until the middle of 19th century, had uh, one third of uh, peasant had a holop. Holop is a Russian word, a slave. Why so important the slavery? Because it's low populated area, it's a work power which not able to left this area. First of all, it's a mandatory work. Secondly, communication with animals, I tried a lot of times, and communication with humans, much higher the efficiency. Much higher the efficiency. But I try to communicate with animals. Uh, my mother is worried because uh, uh, I went to the stable and I discussed one and two hours with the cattle. Mm -hmm. It's the best one. Uh, somebody met personally with the, with the cow? No? Nobody? Urban people. Urban people. But uh, probably you learn that there is a very special stomach of cattle. Therefore, necessary chewing two times. Uh, grass because it's a it's a double side stomach has and ate and come back somehow and ate again i don't know which is the good uh, term in english but it's very relaxing a chewing take the head of cow to my uh, to my hand and chewing 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 and there, there is a very special smell of cow and I remember because uh, somebody know uh, 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 somehow some 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 smell. Uh, it's uh, it's able to uh, to to call back the impression of the childhood. And for example, in my case, this is the smell of coal. And I remember I drove on the highway and look at one cow stop <laughs> for smelling. <laughs> for smelling and the owner of the cattle didn't believe, but it's other story. Uh, turn back. Uh, this is the energetical history, this is the side of energetical history of, uh, of uh, uh, human evolution. Okay, flow of energy feeds clearly defined trophic structure, I continue the reading of uh, definition, uh, biotic diversity and material cycle, uh, exchange material between the living and non-living parts. And the next slide, the next slide, one of the most famous Okay, uh, James Lavo. Somebody listen his name. He died some years ago, and uh, he good example of innovation, of innovative thinking. He received one job, participated in uh, uh, Mars. Mars, this is the planet, is the 
uh, one to the fourth planet of the of the of the solar system, and uh, participated American project, which otherwise at the turn of 60s and 70s in the last century there is or there is not there was not life on the Mars on the surface of Mars. On the time, no uh, other possibility on the different uh, uh, classical and electrical telescopes try to analyze. And the final conclusion of the research team, no life on the Mars. Why? Because each uh, geographical process and atmospherical process are and were very steady. And the living system it's unstable. There are a lot of changes. And very interesting, he closed the project and take a very seminal question. There is or there is not life on the Earth. Obviously there is. But why? This was the next question. Why there is uh, life on the Earth very stable manner from a lot of 10 million years or 100 million years. And the conclusion of him, there is some uh, mechanism which stabilized the condition of life. This is the theory of uh, Gaia. Gaia, a goddess of Greek mythology. Good. How defined the Gaia system by uh, James Landlock? Look, I try to read that very small character. A complex entity involving the Earth's biosphere, atmosphere, ocean and soil, uh, totally constituting feedback and cybernetic system. Very interesting because one uh, Gaia hypothesis moved two directions. A uh, theologian, because somebody imagined this is a, a living mother, mother Earth, which is saving the life. Other one, a disciplinary approach, it's a cybernetic self-sustainable system. Okay? Very small. Cyber uh, six uh, optimal physical chemical environment life for the planet. And which are the evidences and which is the most important uh, uh, most important uh, conclusions of uh, feedback system? Um, the first one uh, the first one that uh, the temperature, the global temperature, quite stable, but the, uh, the uh, radiation energy of the sun is, um, is uh, changed on the time of life. Look at one example. Uh, somebody, uh, you studied geography in secondary school, I suppose. Uh, but in the geography and climatology, quite typical, a positive, or negative feedback mechanism. You listen something. Look at, for example, one example. Look at uh, uh, negative is a stabilizing feedback and positive unstabilizing feedback. Look at, for example, uh, first increase the solar energy. The sunrise increase in consequence of harsh sunrise. Increase the temperature of Earth. But majority of surface of globe is a water, a global ocean. Therefore, increase the quantity of evaporation. You know which is the evaporation? Everybody knows evaporation. I don't see. Increase the evaporation. In consequence of increase of evaporation, increase the quantity of clouds. Quantity of clouds and decrease the temperature. Therefore, the system able to stabilize. But look at one other one. This is the stabilizing system. Increase the temperature, the solar energy, but the uh, Earth system, the ecosystem, able to stabilize with help of clouds. Look at the unstabilizing. Temperature decrease. Some reason, not important. Only decrease the temperature. In consequence of decrease of temperature, uh, the, uh, sorry, 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 solar radiation decrease, temperature decrease similarly. In consequence of decreased temperature, 
Uh, because uh, very, very magical somehow, or very interesting in the rational approach, the water. Because in water there are in free form on the earth. There is a gas and a ice, and a real flexible water. On the time of uh, temperature decrease, increase the proportion of snow. Snowing increased. You know which is the albedo? Rate of reflection of solar radiation. It's an albedo. It's a geographical time. Albedo. It's how many rate of solar radiation reflects the surface. Highest rate of reflection is a white surface. Therefore, increase of snow cone increase the albedo and increase the efficiency of cooling. Therefore, this is the unstabilizing feedback effect. Stabilizing and unstabilizing. Okay, finally, the conclusion of James Lavlo a uh, global ecosystem like whole of the earth dominated by stabilizing feedback mechanism. First, secondly, atmospheric composition is steady. Which gases are on the atmosphere? You remember from? Second school, which is the highest one? Highest one is uh, 70, oh, sorry. 78%. You remember which gas? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Why is so important? Because uh, nitrogen, uh, how the name is, uh, artificial, artificial dung, which is the fertilizer, a fertilizers, it's made from atmosphere, from air. It's a magical idea, it's a genial idea, not by chance. Who invented that fertilizer, able made from the air, received a Nobel Prize. Uh, other side, he was the first person in the time of the uh, First World War who made a uh, poisonous gas for war. Therefore, the, this is the double side of science. Okay, nitrogen. And 20.8 oxygen. It's quite a steady. It's why it's evidence and the very fine factor of uh, stable function of human physical environment and, and the general biological uh, environment. Because if the rate of oxygen reach 25%, not so higher than recent condition, everything which flammable, it's a burn with spontaneous burning. 25% of oxygen, enough. The, the starting uh, heat may be uh, for example, uh, volcano eruption or lighting or, or no important. In the rate of 25 person, everything which flammable, it's burning. Okay, second one. And the last one, ocean salinity. Somebody know which is the ocean salinity? Which is the concentration? How many person? Nobody. 3.4. Three, change between 3. Point, oh, sorry, 4 and 3.6. 6. Okay. Why is it so important? Because the concentration of salinity reach to 10 percent. No live able beings able to survive. Look at the Dead Sea in Near East. But in uh, Transylvania, in Transylvania, it's the uh, eastern part of the Carpathian Basin, not so far. It's uh, from Seged, only 400 kilometers. There are lakes, it's similar like a Dead Sea. The people, not necessary to swimming, 
polyfluoric. So high the concentration. It's possible, you know, this is the bear uh, lake in Sovata, in Transylvania. You didn't visit it. The Hungarian student didn't visit it. However, no? only 400 kilometers, very near to Marosvácsa. Okay, it's so high the concentration of, of soil, of uh, uh, salinity, that the people not necessary to swimming, only floating on the water. It's very comfortable. Okay. Good. But, if, and this is one uh, uh, conclusion of the, of the uh, James Lago, this ray, 3.4 and 3.6, it's optimal for survival and never reached in global level, never approached a 10 person. It's possible, true or not. At the, in the first lecture I told you that in the rational way, no final condition. We are able to tell only probability. We, can, we have a mention high probability and low probability and no final, final condition. Only religious cognition is maybe final, but it's other way. Okay, and finally, look at the American school. Uh, I told you, uh, environmental history is founded in United States. Why? Because it's, I spoke about by United States founded environment. Okay, uh, look at the American school. Uh, the first representative of the of American school, uh, Toro. Henry David Thomas Toro. He graduated in, at the Harvard University, but he wasn't able to find a job. This is a great tragedy of the university because uh, if somebody accustoms somehow the learning, because uh, uh, there are two directions of the education I spoke about. It, no? American school and the European school. No? I spoke about it. No? No. Okay, uh, it's very useful because uh, I studied American schools similarly, and the American students basically different. Basically different. Why? Because I, uh, Central European University it was American school, but recently it's moved, unfortunately, to Vienna. But uh, a European university, un European education from kindergarten to the university, it's based education a student take under pressure from two directions. Parents and the teacher, and communicate each other. There is a small uh, books sending message, go and back. And a students under pressure, under, even in the kindergarten, learning why? Because necessary to go, go a good uh, uh, elementary school. Later necessary to learn because it's take a pass exam, uh, pass exam to the good secondary school. And finally, when arrived to the university, lost the motivation. Because no under control. I know well because uh, I uh, uh, passed my, my, my studies in uh, American, uh, American style uh, elementary and secondary school. It's been very low quality of the school and no problem. First time, when I learned two following days, I was 17 years old. Seven, because somebody told to me, if I am not able to pass, uh, to take a good pass exam to the university, I have to go work. And I panicked, <laughs> because I didn't want to go uh, uh, work uh, market, working market. Good, turn back. This is a European education, and very interesting if I, for example, I taught a European and, and American students uh, a reaction when I stepped the teacher to the lecture. A European student would like to survive only the education and saving the vital organs and avoid the eye contact. I am not here. And the American school basically, and, and the European school based to uh, information. Education of information. Every teacher would like to taught each information which, which possible in the frame of uh, uh, temporal frame of, uh, of education. Our American school didn't focus, it construct the character much more than information. For example, it's a quite a typical, uh, typical uh, a drama, uh, rhetorical education, arguing 
beside the, uh, some, uh, some opinion, so and so. But very important advantage of American school that start a real hard work when appear a personal motivation. Look at, for example, a history. In the history, in the elementary school, start with human evolution and closed recent time. Look at the secondary school, start human evolution and closed recent time, which is the schedule in the university, start human evolution. Therefore, repeat, repeat, repeat. Therefore, if somebody miss some information, able to compensate later. And uh, American students, it's very open and discuss, and somehow and quite frequently uh, misinform people, a lot of very confused idea, but at the time of university, very highly motivated. Why? Thought in, car in a career. I would like to become an environmental engineer. Therefore, pick the disciplines and the, and the courses according to evolution, intellectual evolution, to the final point, uh, uh, environmental engineers. It's, and the, and the, at the end of university, no, the same level. European and uh, American school, um, American style education. But the majority of population much more educated in European style world, of course, of course. Because took under pressure even elementary and secondary school. Okay, turn up. A Toro uh, didn't receive a job. Therefore, he lost the civilization, moved to the wide world and lived in a garden, a forest, in the forest area, alone. And very interesting, because even recently, an uh, American environmental uh, tradition determined two roots. An uh, Indian uh, tradition, a uh, local Aboriginal tradition, and the Protestant tradition. A Protestant tradition. If possible, I told to you the term of WASP. You know which is the WASP I spoke about? Not yet. You know this term? WASP? White Anglo Saxon Protestant. White Anglo Saxon Protestant. Why so important in the American history? Because, except three presidents, each of American presidents were white Anglo Saxon Protestants. How many percent of American population by the Anglo Saxon? 20. 20 percent. Uh, who were except, exceptions from American presidents? Barack Obama. Barack Obama. But Barack Obama border case. Why? Because his mother, white Anglo Saxon Protestant. And his father came from Kenya, not from the southern part of America, from Kenya, from free, free world in this aspect. And Obama learned the schools of white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Okay? Which other one? Biden is a Catholic. And who is the third one? GFK, Irish Catholic. Two Catholic, one uh, Black American. No more. Only 20%. 20 Good. Why so interesting from this point of view? Because Toro is, uh, came from a family of senators. It's an aristocracy of, uh, of American uh, society. And dominate the Protestant tradition, not only political life, but a general intellectual life. An Indian tradition and the, uh, and the Protestant uh, tradition. And uh, the next uh, milestone of uh, American environmental school, uh, next one, uh, uh, Roderick Nash, a founder of, uh, and the godfather of environmental history wrote, uh, 
national parks. A national parks. A first national parks founded in United States. Uh, somebody know which was the first one? The first protected area, a central park, you know, in New York, in Manhattan. The first protected area, whole of the developed country, a central park. If somebody, uh, you know the name of uh, Woody Allen, director of, uh, of uh, uh, the American director living in Manhattan. And majority of his story made and located to Manhattan, one of the movie, his movie. Uh, recently it's, it's out a uh, fashion, a little bit, but to my generation, uh, Woody Allen was the, one of the pillars of, uh, of intellectual socialization. Okay, uh, uh, and the Yellowstone. And very interesting, if we are looking at American national parks, and there is a, a joke of, uh, of uh, Roderick Nash that the uh, United States and the American culture took two, two, two uh, devices and two uh, uh, innovation to the global culture, a uh, national park, Coke, and the basketball, no more. <laughs> and you can agree or not, but it's very interesting approach. But the national parks, American national parks, basically different than the European national parks. Why? Because the European national parks are protected area, a closed area, necessary a special license, even going into the national parks. But American national parks, uh, if possible, you know the, the cartoon of Yogi Beer. Yogi Beer. Uh, Yogi Beer. It's stealing uh, baskets, uh, meals baskets. In Hungary, it's a Mozilotsi. Hungarian the name of this uh, uh, country, Mozilotsi. This is a typical national park, a picnic place with uh, Indian rodeo and, and, uh, and the playgrounds and so and so. It's different. And later, of course, after the Second World War, the most protected area closed from the, from the, from the audience. Okay? Uh, and finally, the key actor of appearance of ecology uh, from sub-discipline of, uh, uh, of uh, biology to the global thinking, Rachel Carson. Rachel Carson is very famous. It's the greatest revolutioner of the, one of the greatest revolutioner of uh, intellectual revolutioner of, uh, uh, of the 20th century. Why? Because in the 60s, beside the beat and the music, beat music and others, had two great movements in the United States. Uh, the first, the black movement, and the second one, ecological movements. And very interesting advantage of American intellectuals, communication with the general reader. You know which is the general reader? It's a it's a simple people, a general reader who buy the books and, and read the books. A general reader, intellectual level, as I mentioned, much lower compared with the European, uh, European uh, public education. Therefore, if one, for example, uh, uh, one, one uh, uh, scientific book uh, published for general reader in the United States, it never success in Europe, because the intellectual level differ. But very important advantage of American uh, scholars writing articles for intellectual and the scientific communication, but almost each of author write book for general reader in the topic of climate change, in the topic of GMO, uh, genetic modified uh, uh, plants and animals and so on and so on. And Richard Carson was a typical American intellectual. He analyzed how changed uh, uh, environmental uh, management after the Second World War. The decades after the Second World War produced the highest economic growth whole of the human history. It's up. Look at, for example, the population. The population of the world, it's a good indicator, the population of the world on the time of Jesus, this is the starting date of the Christian calendar, it's estimated to 200 uh, uh, or 300 million. 
at the beginning of 19th century, it's British English, one in India, on the time of Second World War, uh, 2.5 million, and to the end of 20th century, 6 million, and recent is exponential trajectory, recently 8 million. It's unbelievable uh, growth, not only in the population, but economic production, similarly, economic growth. But very high the price of feeding the generation, much higher number, the former generation, which is the price. We are using a lot of fertilizers and uh, pesticides. This is the trajectory how we increased since the middle of the uh, 20th century the quantity of fertilizers and pesticides. And uh, this material quite poisonous. Uh, look at which is the uh, didn't wrote, but there is a, a, a there is not uh, somebody know which is the pesticide. It's named the atomic bomb of the of the insects. Oh, it's a free character only. I, I remember later. I remember later. Anyway, a pesticide. You know which is the pesticide. Able to kill everything. Uh, too late recently, therefore. Uh, uh, generally, I remember, but somehow it's uh, disappeared the information. Uh, I remember, I, I, I hope that it was, uh, this is not the first step toward uh, Alzheimer. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I think a little bit first. Okay, came back. Pesticide. Uh, one pesticide, the three characters. They tell something, right? I can't remember either. I don't know. I don't know because uh, because uh, generally uh, I, I lecture freely, and the majority of situation, the compulsory information I remember. But sometimes it's a, somehow it's a, it's a, uh, totally disappear, and I am not able. But for example, my mother. Uh, I, I spent my childhood in a small village. And I live together with, uh, with uh, uh, how the name is, uh, uh, it's, uh, I'm losing the words, words don't come easy, as the song mentioned. There is a, a flea, you know which is the flea, flea. It's a small insect, it uh, jumps on the, on the skin and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, drinking uh, uh, blood, blood drinker. And, uh, I slept together with cat like recently, and uh, my cat uh, in the villages was a free spirit. Therefore, I had at least five fleas continuously. And very interesting, during my childhood period, period uh, I, I was assured that the hygienic condition and unhygienic condition, there is a, a border. It's a small number of free and a high number of free. I wasn't able to imagine that no free. But I, when I moved to urban area, my flea left me, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, but uh, some, uh, somebody had a flea yet? This is the same trend. Very interesting, I teach uh, in Transylvania, uh, eastern part of uh, Carpathian Basin, recently is a part of Romania. In Transylvania, 20% of audience met personally with flea. Because it's a very special technology, it's a hunting for free. It's necessary to learn and socialize. And okay, but it's other story. I don't remember the name of the pesticide, but free characters. And very efficient. Apply everywhere on the verb. Apply everywhere. And kill each insect where uh, power and, 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 and used. But it's very dangerous for two reasons. In the people who used this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 pesticide uh, made quite high uh, rate a uh, cancer, a cancer infection first. Secondly, totally destroyed 
the chain of consummation. If we take it out one brick from the chain of consummation, whole of the dam collapse. Whole of the dam collapse. Why? Because no insect, no small mammals who ate insect, it's dying. And the next step, uh, the predator who hunting to the, the small mammals, and so and so and so. Therefore, region where apply when apply the pesticide, not only the insects kill, but whole of them. Moreover, a lot of people receive a cancer. Therefore, he was the first person who called attention the price, environmental price of economic growth. Recently, each of mention of Rachel Carson, it's obviously, it's an obvious evidence, but on his third time, it was a great innovation and launched a global thinking and turned uh, attention to the direction of double nature of human, which bearer of culture and animal, like each other animals. For example, when I'm talking with my cat, there are, and I, 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 I find and I will find that I found a lot of similar features, similar features. For example, sometimes I'm a human. Okay, uh, good. Nature Carson and on the 70s, 20th century, <coughs> sorry, no information about it. Free character, I remember, free characters. Good. Uh, turn two direction development of environmental thinking. One direction, environmental policy. Form the Greenpeace, form the De Green, and you know the De Green is the party of uh, of uh, uh, environmental protection in Germany. On the time, Western Germany recently unified whole both sides of the Germany, and recently uh, De Green, uh, the Green Party, is a part of of uh, German government. Therefore, became a political actors. And the other one, it's an environmental thinking, environmental policy and the politics. Other direction are scientific thinking and form environmental history, environmental sociology, and environmental economics and so environmental philosophy. A majority of, my co of our course, we discuss about the scientific reflection to the ecological uh, innovation, but some words necessary to speak about uh, environmental politics. Only some words. Uh, uh, first Earth, Earth Day organized uh, in uh, 1970. Uh, this is the Global Earth Day. This is a, a great celebration of, uh, of Earth. Uh, 22nd April. Uh, founded the Greenpeace, I am uh, a uh, uh, protector of uh, Greenpeace paying because you know, you know the Greenpeace? Greenpeace is a, it's an NGO organization. He, and he received donation only uh, from persons. No institution, no uh, government organization, only personal donation accept. And uh, Club of Rome, it was the next milestone of uh, of uh, environmental protection. Uh, in innovation of Club of Rome, it's, uh, uh, it's a club, a real club, with 100 persons, 50 from economic life, a businessman and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, all the brokers, and uh, actor of economic life, and the other 50 persons, like, a, a, for example, academic institution, but this is a club, from scientific life, natural, and, uh, and social scientists. And time by time publish report about condition, each second year publish a report about the condition of, uh, of uh, uh, conditions of, uh, of uh, earth and uh, environmental processes. And the first conference on the subject of environmental protection organized in Stockholm uh, 1972 
Uh, and uh, the last uh, slide, this will be the last slide, the Brundtland Commission. Brundtland is a prime, uh, Brundtland was a prime minister of uh, Norway and uh, uh, uni uh, uh, United Nations organized a global commission. This was the Brundtland Commission. And the main goal and uh, the main task of this commission uh, somehow defined the condition of survival. Condition of survival for humankind. And uh, the conclusion, one Hungarian uh, biologist particip participated in Istvan Lang in the Brutal Commission, 63 or 4 uh, participants participated in the uh, Brutal Commission. And the conclusion of them was a uh, sustainable growth. Probably you know in the newspaper and the, and the news the concept of sustainable growth. Recently discussed a lot because somebody uh, speaking this only uh, somehow tried to cover the interest of, uh, of economy, but I, to my mind, it's a great innovation. Because a sustainable growth means the need for the finding a compromise, interest of biological beings and interest of civilization. Okay, thanks a lot. Sorry for 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 the harsh condition, but I try to solve this uh, um, for the stable situation. Anyway, recorded this lecture, and I will load up the slide series, and I apologize. See you later, and have a nice evening. I am going to my cat. <laughs> she will compensate me. And very interesting, uh, you know the name of Imani? Imani, it's a uh, French singer. You know Imani? No? Uh, I'm a little bit good uh, because uh, uh, each half day I am posing with the song of Imani. Uh, she is uh, a uh, French uh, singer, but she sings English. Okay. Very strange. He came from the eastern part of Africa. I show for you my, my favorite song. <laughs> this is the compensation for the bad conditions. And you didn't make the, the list of the people who are here, no? The so names. You always come out names on the end, so we can report are we here or not. Sorry. Yeah, yeah so, sorry, sorry. List of participants, but I find that in my name first. No, unfortunately, here, not uh, uh, next time. Next time, I will show you. Uh, the song of Slow Down uh, is uh, the best thing. I'm lying on the bed, my cat on me, one Bluetooth uh, ear to my, and I'm listening partly the song of Imani and uh, for example special uh, special noise of the of the cat. Mm -hmm. It's I imagine I'm not able to imagine better condition. <laughs> Sorry, list of participants. Andros Vizalan, Apru Johans Dorka, Restari Viski Urva, Ola Noemi, Kirtia Aini Maritu, Maria Tu, thanks a lot. Rochman Kitty, Champinate, Shumushu Marina, Tornai Rila, Ukovic Sonia, Zefania Rachel Aulli. Zentia Viverani Kartika, sorry for my bad pronunciation. Okay, have a nice evening and Imani in the next turn. <laughs> sorry you. for that, but uh, it's unfocustable. Mm -hmm. yes.
Sorbonne and the Grey Monday. It's a very, very uh, mood. I received sorry for that. See you.